welcome to Lazy Evaluation Explained. I'm Stephanie Kermer, and I'm a senior data scientist at Saturn Cloud. Lazy evaluation is a first foundational concept to understanding parallel computing, which is really key to big data, big powered machine learning. So in this short video, I'm going to walk you through lazy evaluation and give you some examples with Python so you can see exactly how it works. First, normal functions are known as eager. Once you run them, they calculate the value you asked for, give it right back to you. No waiting. You push enter and then the computing starts immediately. You may be wondering if this is your first time discussing lazy evaluation. Well, of course, that's what functions do. They give you back the value you asked for. What else would they do? But there is another type of function. That's called a lazy function. This means that your code will queue up sets of transformations or calculations, and then they'll be ready to run later. So this means they could run in parallel later on, and that's the key. You'll notice on the last slide, we had a function that was calculating an exponent, and it just returned the value 1024 right away. But this is the same insides of the function and even the same arguments to the function, but it's got a decorator on it. And the, that decorator comes from the Dask library. This added to a Python function tells Python this function is different and special, and it's going to behave differently from a regular function. This is a concept you'll find in lots of frameworks for parallel computing, and your framework will just not evaluate the requested computations until you explicitly tell it to. So to reiterate, these two functions look very similar and in fact have the same inner contents and the same arguments, but they are not the same and their results will not be the same. When you calculate the exponent function, you get the back the numeric value immediately. But when you ca calculate the lazy exponent, what you get is a delayed object that is waiting for you to run the compute method, as shown at the bottom here. And that compute method will then return the numeric value because it will calculate when you run compute, no matter how long you wait to run that value. So that's OK, but why do we care? Why do we actually need to think about this lazy evaluation thing? What's so valuable about this? The point is that you can use that lazy evaluated function in ways that you can't use an eagerly evaluated one. If you create a bunch of lazy evaluating objects, like shown here, you can stick them together and use them to do stuff in a particular order, not until you say so. So we can use our existing functions as an example. Here we're returning the lazy value from the first function, and we pass that to the second function, the same one, and then we multiply those things and we produce a new value called z here. But z is still a delayed object. Z doesn't actually have any numeric value attached to it yet. It's waiting for us, again, to use the compute method. And once we do that, then we'll have actual numeric value that we can you know, use for other things. But what this makes possible is that, for example, one or more of these functions, if you organize it the right way, could now be doing their calculations at the same time. And when they're doing that at the same time, you could potentially use multiple computers to do that. You can add more resources to the computation, and they can all be working at the same time instead of working one by one by one by one. So this is why parallelization is using lazy evaluation under the hood to make it possible. Um, you can use this for a couple of different machine learning techniques, in particular loading really big data sets, data sets that would otherwise be too big to hold on one machine. You can do calculations on those. And you can also do really computation heavy or just slow tasks at the same time so that you're not waiting for one to finish before the next one can start. Thank you for joining us for this quick explainer. I hope that this has helped you get a better sense of how lazy evaluation works and how it can be useful for your machine learning tasks. If you'd like to try parallelizing your machine learning with Dask and Python, check us out at SaturnCloud.io. We give you 10 free hours of Jupyter per month, including GPU access, three hours of Dask per month, also including GPUs on clusters, and we'll let you deploy dashboards free of charge.